we're going to go over installing SKSE 64 um, into Skyrim Special Edition and uh, this is mostly for new users first thing we're going to do we're going to go let's get rid of this stuff to SKSE dot silverlock dot org you can google it the Skyrim script extender for special edition download and it'll take you right to this page you're actually going to see three versions you'll see the current classic build you'll see the current SE build and of course the current VR build and we're interested in current SE build so we'll download it to wherever you download your um, your files you know your downloads and when you're done I move it to my desktop just drag it right over we open it up and we're actually going to have a data folder a source folder which is the source codes which we're not interested in what we're interested in is data the DLL the two DLLs there's two DLLs in the folder and the XE so from there we'd open up our Skyrim special edition folder and if you're not sure where that is you'd open up you go to Steam you right click on Skyrim Special Edition you find that in your list right click on it and go down the properties and in these tabs at the top right next to general updates is local files just before language and betas you go to browse local files and that takes you right to your folder there's your folder that's where Skyrim special edition is installed for me it's on my D drive you should have um, when you installed it tried not to install it on your C programs 86 where it wants to install it so if you got there another way other than the way I just showed you as soon as you see these two files here your Skyrim XE and your Skyrim SE your Skyrim SE XE and your Skyrim SE launcher XE that's the folder so I've already got it installed but all you need to do is take these three files that I mentioned earlier and you would just drag them right over to here and let go and when you know right down into your not up here into one of the folders just right into down below the folders and when you do that if you already have it installed it'll ask you to overwrite but you drop it right in there now the next thing you need to do and the way a lot of people do it is they take the data folder and drop that over as well and it jumps inside the data folder and then you know when you whenever you update SKSC64 it would overwrite everything but what you have to do from now on is whenever you open up your download and you see these three files that you want you'll find those same three files there you want to delete them and pull these over 
but for the data folder instead of doing it that way a way I would do it okay we can delete this we're done with this folder as you take this folder and you right click it go to your 7-zip and say add to you know you're gonna archive it so if you add it to archive and then I'm gonna rename it to something like instead of data you want to rename it to to scripts Oops. oh underscore you could name it whatever you want but name it something you'll recognize inside your mod manager because that's how we're gonna install it I do scripts or I'm sorry let me start over S K S E 64 underscore uh, what is it version 2.0.17 underscore scripts or you could do scripts and then the 2.0.17 then you hit OK so what you have now it made you a 7-zip folder SKSE 64 the version and scripts and then if you're using vortex open up vortex go to your mods instead of your dashboard go to your mods and at the top there's a little plus sign up at the top left see it there you can click that and go to your desktop and find it there and click on it just like and then from there it's just like you're downloading a mod it'll show up it'll show up over here uh, just like you know any other mod you're used to downloading or you can take this SKSE 64 folder that you just made and you can drag it and drop it right over down here where it says drop files you can take this and drop it right in there and then again you'll get the message up here that it is um, you know down you know that it is installing once you hit install so for me last time I did it see right here I, I, I didn't put the version in there the reason for doing this is whenever you go to install a mod in the future if for any reason whatsoever it's trying to overwrite one of those files that are in that SKSE scripts folder your mod manager will give you a heads up it'll tell you that it's trying to overwrite it that you have a conflict and that's important because then you can stop and take a look at which mod it is you know first you can cancel out of the installation take a look at which mod it is and what exactly in there is overriding it you could even go to the mod page that you got it from let's say it's Nexus and send a message or use the post section and ask the mod, you know, the mod author if you're not sure. And then when you go to update, you can just uninstall it. Whenever I uninstall anything, first I disable it, and I know you don't have to do it this way, and I let it run its course, and then I use the uninstalled. I just do everything the absolute safest way I can so that I make sure that I'm removing everything 
and leaving nothing behind. So what you want to do now, and we're not done yet, how do we know we just installed it properly? So you want to launch your game. Oh yeah. And while I'm at it, let me stop here. Go back into my folder. Go down here. I've got mine. Okay. Okay. So now you're going to end up one of the files we dragged over was the loader XE. SKSE 64 loader XE. You want to right click it and you want to tell it to create a shortcut. And the reason you want to do that, see right here, and then when you're done, whoops, there's the shortcut XE and you drive and you drop it on your desktop because that's where you're going to be launching from from now on and then what I did is I went to properties and I went to change icon and then you browse and the best thing to do is browse right back to that folder we were at and pick one of these two icons it doesn't matter they're both the same and then hit OK, hit Apply, hit OK again, and then you could even rename it if you want. But anyway, now we're always going to be loading from here. On Vortex, in case you want to load it from Vortex, you go to the dashboard. I also have it right here. You just click on the three dots right here. Hit edit. Make sure using this folder here that it's in the right, you know, that you selected the right, you'll go into the folder and you'll click on the XE. See if I if I select this folder. SK SE64 loader XE. So you're clicking on that. As soon as you click on that, it'll throw it in here. And you click that. And there it is. Right in the file path. Hit save. And again, you can change the icon the same way that I did. Okay, go in here. And instead of it being on ping, you'll go to executables, and there it is. And you can use this icon. Same way, see? See how it changed? Save it. And there it is. Then you can make this primary, which now means no matter where you load it from, here or there, it's loading from the same place. So now there's one last step. We want to launch the game, of course, from the desktop or straight from Vortex. You'll never run it from Steam again. This is an important step right here because it's going to tell us that we installed it properly. We'll give it just a second to load up. Okay, once we're here, we're going to hit the tilde key. If you're not familiar which key that is on your keyboard, it's the one just to the left of the number one key. Not over in the numpad on the right, on the top left. And 
and it's right below the escape key. Now that's on the American keyboard. I'm not sure where it is on the international keyboard. But you want to hit the tilde key. If you look over here where it says the where the Bethesda logo is in the lower left hand corner of the screen. As soon as I hit the tilde key, you got the flashing cursor. And all you're going to type is get SKSE version. And you hit enter. And there it is. SKSE 64 version 2.0.17 gives you the release and the runtime. That's very important. If that is not there, if you get any other message than that, any other message than that, you didn't install it properly. So go back, undo everything you did, and start over. You must get this message. And we'll just hit the tilde key again and get rid of that. And that's it. I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask them in the forums.